Regenerative braking is a mechanism that slows down the vehicle by converting kinetic energy into electricity that charges the car battery. Smart Regeneration System automatically controls the regenerative braking using front radar by detecting road gradient, driving condition of the vehicle ahead, and detected location of speed camera. The system minimizes unnecessary operation of the brake and acceleration pedal, enhancing driving convenience. To activate the Smart Regeneration System, switch the gear to Drive and hold the right paddle shifter for one second. Once Smart Regeneration System is on, Auto Symbol shows on the instrument cluster, replacing the displayed Regenerative System level indicator. Smart Regeneration System activates automatically when the vehicle speed is above 10 km per hour and one of the conditions are met. Road gradient change, change in distance with vehicle ahead, change in speed of the vehicle ahead. Regenerative braking level can be adjusted based on the driver's deceleration style. To adjust the level, select EV mode in the infotainment system and choose settings. Go to Smart Regeneration, then choose Smart Regeneration Deceleration Intensity. You can choose among faster deceleration, normal deceleration, and slower deceleration. When the distance with the vehicle ahead gets closer while coasting, the regenerative braking level increases. Once the vehicle ahead is recognized, the white lightning symbol turns blue. The higher the regenerative braking level is, the faster the deceleration becomes. It also adds up more regenerative energy. Without manually controlling the regenerative braking level, Smart Regeneration System automatically adjusts the level reflecting the driving condition. To deactivate, pull the right paddle shifter and hold for one second. Auto Symbol is removed from the instrument cluster. Always make sure to keep the radar sensor cover clean free of dirt and debris for proper operation of Smart Regeneration System. Even when Smart Regeneration System is in operation, the driver should always be aware of the surrounding and be ready to depress the brake pedal when necessary. iPedal stands for Intelligent Pedal, a drive mode that allows you to drive only with the acceleration pedal. Without manually controlling the paddle shifter, the vehicle can accelerate, decelerate, and stop. Pull the left side paddle shifter four times to activate iPedal. iPedal symbol is found on the instrument cluster after a short pop-up message, iPedal on. Once you slowly let off the accelerator pedal, the vehicle starts to slow down. This gives a similar driving experience as if you are slowly pressing down on the brake pedal on a vehicle with an internal combustion engine. When the vehicle comes to a complete stop, stop symbol is displayed on the instrument cluster. Continue driving by depressing the accelerator pedal. In high traffic areas, iPedal gives a more relaxed driving experience. Select Smart Regeneration System in case of high-velocity driving environment. 
Pull the right side paddle shifter once to turn off eye pedal and return to level 3 regenerative braking system. For your safety, be sure to depress the brake pedal on hills and at any emergent situation. Vehicle to Load V2L is the system that provides AC power to the in and outside of the vehicle using the high voltage battery for driving to operate electronic devices. V2L allows practical use of the car battery acting as an external power source connecting electronic devices up to 3.6 kilowatts or 16 amperes. First, start by connecting the desired electronic device or power strip to the V2L connector. Then, open the charging inlet and plug the V2L connector. You will hear a click sound once the connector is well mounted. Press the on-off switch on the connector to start V2L. To prevent theft, the connector automatically locks once it is successfully mounted. The charging indicator blinks green when V2L is activated. Multiple electronic devices can be used within the maximum power output. The operation stops when the power exceeds the maximum capacity allowed. A warning message will be displayed on the instrument panel. To restart V2L, remove the connector, then plug it back in after removing unnecessary devices. Minimum to maximum supply limit can be set using the EV mode on the infotainment system. Go to EV mode on the home screen and select EV Charge Transfer Setting. Setting can be adjusted between maximum 80% and minimum 20%. After using V2L, make sure to unplug the connector from the charging inlet. Press the on-off switch to cut off the power supply. The charging indicator blinks red when the power supply is cut off and V2L is deactivated. Unlock the car to remove the connector. While pressing down the button on top of the connector, pull straight to remove. For your safety, stay away from using V2L in the rain and immediately stop V2L when lightning is observed. Thank you.